Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kali. In today's video, I'm gonna show you five ways to create gradient lips. First thing first, always prep your lips before putting on lipstick, especially if your lips are dry or chapped. I'm using the MAC Cosmetic Prep and Prime Lip. This adds light moisture, smooths, and refines the lips. You can also use any lip balms. If your lips are flaking, just exfoliate beforehand. For lipstick, you can use satin, cream, or matte formula as long as it's pigmented and easy to smudge or blend out. I recommend using bright colors like orange, red, pink, or darker shades. Everything except for new shades. I'm gonna use the Maybelline color Sensational Creamy Matte Lip Color in 685 Craving Coral. Now for the first method, I put the lipstick on, focusing on the inner lips area. Then I press my lips together to smudge and even it out a little bit. Then I use my finger to blend it outwards with dapping motion. After that, I put some more lipstick on my inner lips to make it more gradient. It looks really nice and natural. But if you have this color or hyperpigmented lips, the next method is for you. We're gonna need a concealer for this method. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. First, I put the lipstick on all over my lips. It doesn't need to be precise. Then I put the concealer on the edges of my lip line. I don't need a lot of concealer, just a few small dots. Then I put my lips together like this and start dapping and blending out. Keeping my lips together helps avoid blending too much into the inner part so I can still see the lipstick color afterwards. You should use a full coverage concealer that has the same shade as your skin tone because the lighter or darker shade cannot blend well with your skin tone and make it look odd and the shade coverage cannot cover the lips really well. Then I put some more lipstick on the inner part to make it more gradient. You can do the opposite for this method. Put the concealer on first then put on the lipstick. Just do whatever works best for you. If you want, you can set it with powder to avoid creasing. This method can also be nice for someone that has uneven lips as we can cover that with the concealer. But if you don't like to use concealer, move to the next method. For this method, we will need two lipsticks. One has your lip shade color or lighter and one darker shade. The lighter shade I use is the Maybelline color Sensational Intimate Matte Nude Lipstick in shade 555 Naked Coral. I apply a thin layer of the lighter shade all, all over my lips, then blend out with my finger and create blurring lip lines. After that, I just apply the darker shade on my inner half lips, then smudge out. Put some more darker lipstick on if you feel like it. It's better to use the same formulas for both lipsticks as they can blend seamlessly together. 
The next method is for someone who prefers a vampy look or loves wearing dark shades. We will need a really dark shade lipstick for this, but I don't own any dark lipstick, so I'm gonna use a black shade in this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. You can also use a dark eyeshadow. I just finished the lips with one of three methods before, and then I get some black lip color out on a lip brush and put it on the one third of my inner lips as I want to create more ombre effect, darkest at the inner part and lighted at the outer part. Then slightly dab it to spread and blend it out. Remember to apply little by little. Put more on when you need more. You don't want to turn your lips into black in just one swipe. I love to wear this in fall or winter, it just looks perfect. And the last method is for someone that loves the plumping, glossy lip look or someone that has lots of wrinkles on the lips like me. And sometimes the matte lipstick can show the wrinkles even more and make us look older. That's when the gloss comes in handy. I use this clear gloss from MAC Cosmetics. I take some out and dab it on the inner half of my lips to create the plumping effect. You can put it all over the lips if you like. A clear gloss can be very convenient. You don't have to buy a ton of different color lip gloss. Just use a clear one to turn every lip color into gloss. And the gloss helps to reflect the lights so our lips will appear fuller and more youthful. And there you have 5 different ways to pull off the gradient lips. Which one is your favorite? Tell me in the comment section. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.